Hi guys, good morning. So, it's another video. <laughs> you might not have even caught up with, you know, the rest that I've done, but, um, you know, I'll probably have a break after this one. I just felt it was imperative for me to do this last one um, before I have a break again, because just scrolling the internet, you know, the fucking, I call it the DMZ, but it's of course the exact opposite. <laughs> um, and just, 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 just putting my finger on on the pulse, you know. And I read. I always. This is the best way I feel to to do this is to read between the lines. Do not take anything on verbatim. That's just my advice. Do what you like. But I read between the lines. I'm an empath, so I sense. I sense what's going on. Sometimes. <laughs> So, riots in Serbia, riots in Greece, people are, are rising up. There is the um, Anna Brees YouTube channel, which I'm hoping more and more people will post on that as well. Um, go and have a look at that. Because it, it, we need to know this, people. We need to know, right, that people are waking up. We need to know this. We need to... To not allow the forces of evil to convince us that we're surrounded by the walking dead and that we're the only one and we're all alone, right? Because divided we fall. We know this, they know it, and they've been doing it to us our entire life. You know, in the night I just had this another one of these these clear moments, very clear. And I mean it's the same knowledge, but on a deeper level where you feel it and know it more intrinsically, more overwhelmingly too, that each and every fucking one of us has a demonic monstrosity that lives in our consciousness. It lives in our head and it lives in our emotions as a result well, it doesn't live in our emotions, I suppose, but it lives in our head. Uh, and that's, that's, that's what causes these cascades of emotions. It's there and it is sabotaging us every inch of the way. It is brutalizing us every inch of the way, telling us that we are powerless, telling, we're that, telling us that we're worth it, we can't trust ourselves. That's a big one. Is like, no, you can't trust yourself, you can't trust yourself. We are all in such a profoundly weakened state. I'm reminded of, there's a film I watched a long time ago that was a very brutal film. It's called The, the, the um, what's it called? The Delivery of Belson. It's when the Americans supposedly arrived at the camp Bergen-Belsen and what they were confronted with there was something that was beyond words. I mean, you had growing men that, that would stood there and ever crying, but you know, so we're told, whatever. I, I'm not saying anything about that as such. However, that is what lives inside of us. That is a part of our being. Now, I've always thought, oh, maybe it's just you, Anika. They'd like you to, they'd like you to think that way. They'd like you to think that oh, it's just you. You're just the one that's really fucked up. Everybody else is a okay, which is f such another fucking lie. I am a very keen observer of people of of the world around me. I tune in and I watch and I listen. I do a fair amount of talking as well, funnily enough. But I manage to get the listening and the seeing in perfectly well at the same time. And I see that dark, demonic presence at work in the minds of the people. It's why they are not waking up. They don't want to wake up. Um, it, the, 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 it, it, it is fear. It's fear and it's hate directed at us, toward us, on a daily basis, 24-7 undermining us 24-7, siphoning the life force out of us 24-7.
you know, and I'm going to have to think of a name for it because I don't want to call it wetigo anymore because that is somebody else's word for it. And the person who made up that word got it from the Native American people who had a name for it. <laughs> it's... Uh, uh, <laughs> There, uh, a subscriber of mine left a comment yesterday and he mentioned something about his uh, sister-in-law um, absolutely hating him. He suspects she's an NPC. He says her eyes go all black, as in all black. Now, I've seen that myself. I have. I have seen, I am seeing people behaving with such hatred and malice and malignance and violence, verbal violence, like physical violence, I can feel the energy. It is highly, highly charged, people. It's like, oh, we, we, you know, and, and this, is, this is why I know I'm on the right path here, because you get all these people come out of the woodwork, online, you know, just in the fields, external people, whatever, right? Um, that tell you that you're getting it wrong. You're getting it wrong. You shouldn't be feeling that way. No, you shouldn't be feeling that way. That's wrong. You're getting it all wrong. If you were truly awakening, you'd be, you know, you'd be sitting on a mountain top doing your yoga and saying Aum a lot and you'd be very kind and considerate and loving and accepting and you know if people treat you like shit you wouldn't stand up for yourself you would simply say oh it doesn't matter because I love you peace brother right there is there's other even more much more subtle sort of nuances to that of people that claim to be awake and that claim to be going within and, and, and even say, well, yeah, it's very tough and it's this and it's that. But then, you know, say to you when you're in a, in a really dark moment, full of despair, say, say something like, you know, like some, because somebody is, 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 something's happened to you and it's, it's made you feel terrified and it's made you feel full of rage or it, 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 it's just literally shook your fucking world on its axis, right? And then there'll be somebody there saying things like, so, so you're being triggered, you know, so you just have to use that to your advantage and do the work, you know. But they say it in that way that makes you realize, oh, I see, yeah, you're a narcissist and you're getting off on this. And you're condescending and patronizing, but you don't really have a fucking clue what you're talking about. The world is full of these minions, I am telling you people. And I'm not saying this because we should allow them to trigger us into hating them because that is what the beast wants. It is whipping up a frenzy of hate, of bias, of judgment, of hypocrisy, of violence, of aggression, of rage, of and, and, and this, this is all backed up by feelings of powerlessness and, and the grief, grief, grief. And the grief is loaded. The grief comes from a place of complete and utter despair. It's like annihilation is imminent. All shall be destroyed. Evil has won grief, grief, that sort of grief. This is not healthy grief, people. This is grief that don't move. It is stagnant. Like the Kaaba in fucking Mecca. It is a big black box. And it's full of toxic, destructive, evil crap. And it, it, it masquerades as genuine and it masquerades as, 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 as healing even. But you're, you, you know, when you're in it and it is overwhelming, dark, Wow, you do find yourself wallowing. You know, it's not even that so much. It's beyond wallowing. Wallowing is more of a choice. It's, it's more like, okay, you could stop doing that. But sometimes it's like that. Because, you know, we have been subliminally targeted from the minute we were born, people. Not just by the television. 
you know, or the radio, or that nice dance music that we all used to listen to in the 90s, you know, that doom, 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 and Paul Oakenfold and all these fucking DJs working for the cabal, what and all, you know, and all the drugs that we took, or all the drugs that we were given by our doctors that we took, or the fact that we were fucking traumatised and traumatised and traumatised by our parents, often enough, by the schools, by the churches, by society as a whole, which is a bunch of traumatised people that re-traumatise each other and themselves on a daily fucking basis. This is the soup that we live in. So that, that monstrosity that lives within us, which in a sense is a part of us as well, it, it's really nebulous and weird, but it, it is like, it was created through all this trauma. I've always said this, right? Trauma is the gateway. I know I'm fucking right. That's how it enters and starts to manipulate our consciousness to be against us, to make us slaves, subjugate us to its will. Yes, there are people choosing not to wear masks. Yes, there are people who are still kind. In fact, they're probably even kinder now because you see, when the shit hits the van, right? When the chips are down and when the tits are up, <laughs> Some people are going to get meaner and are going to get more selfish and are going to take it out on each other, right? And other people are going to become more compassionate, com more compassionate and they're going to get kinder and they're going to be more inclined towards helping each other out, right? That is how that works. I've not been wearing a mask, I shan't be doing it. I've not had any trouble whatsoever, nada, nothing. Um, some people are, are frightened to not wear a mask and that is just typical. It's like the, the hive is against us and we're terrified so we must comply, we better fall in line. That is exactly what's happening on the inner plane people as well, that is a perfect analogy because that Hive consciousness, that brutal, sabotaging consciousness that lives in us has been there all our lives and we have been subjugated, we have been compliant to it. The fear does that. You know. And something else is happening now though. It's like this, this heart center activation or opening here that is saying for the first time in fucking eons perhaps, it's saying no, 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 no more, no more, no, no. Because it's all a lie. And you're so used to living that way and believing it all to be true. Your experiences have shown you over and over again that it is true. It is true. It's all shit and you're powerless and nothing is ever going to be alright. And all this shit, the corona. Evil's won. Evil's won. We're all fucked. We're finished. Yeah. So it's, it's better just to commit suicide now or to just give up and, you know. Or to just crumble in a heap and watch conspiracy theories and yes, it's fucked, we're fucked, we're finished. But for some of us there's this happening, it's happening, it's saying no, some the will, the seat of the will, something, something is coming up. And it's saying now is your finest hour. There's gonna be many finest hours, days, weeks, months where we have to face this darkness within us that has kept us hostage our entire life. Face it, feel it. Because all this, all that is really coming up now because of everything that's happening on the external plane. It's always powerful, of course, that's why it's happening. It is the death of Vatico. Well, here I've just called it that. 
I've not worked out a new name for it, so bear with me. But it's imperative that I feel we do the work. It's like, yes, okay, it will happen regardless, maybe. I hope so. But there are choices that we have to make now, people. We're either going to be with love or we're going to be against it, one way or another. It's the hardest thing to not retaliate. I'm not saying we should be doormats either. I'm not saying that at all. And if somebody comes up to you in a shop and you're not wearing a mask and they get verbally abusive, you can look them straight in the eye and tell them in no uncertain terms. Yes. But we mustn't harbour this resentment or this hatred or this rage or this grief or this fear. We will feel it. We will feel it viscerally. Especially fear and rage. You feel that. Like, you feel it and it's like, oh, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I don't want to eat anymore. I just, I, I'm just, oh God, I want to blow my brains out. It, it gets that bad. It gets that bad for me. Especially, you know, when you're in, in a situation in your life that is not, is not good. You feel it. It will trigger that. We take advantage of that. Somehow. Because something is happening. The light is rising and the dark is being exposed within us and externally. You see? And there are choices to be made. It's like the battle lines have been drawn, people. But we don't fight the conventional way. The reason that they show us in all these films how to fight evil, how to be against evil, and how to go and fight evil, thereby becoming the evil that you fight because you embrace violence and rage and hate. What is evil at the end of the day, people? Do you understand what I'm saying? That is why it's rammed down our throat in all those nice World War II movies I used to love watching so very, very much. Like The Longest Day. I always loved that, that, that bit in, in the film, The Longest Day, where they've got these carrier pigeons, you know, and they've just landed on the beaches. And they've got these carrier pigeons, and I've got this message to go to some fucking general or something. I think it was Omar Bradley or whatnot. I think it might have been in Italy, but whatever. And they release the pigeons and they fly to the Germans. <laughs> and they're like, they say, traitors! <laughs> I love that bit. But anyway, that is what they show us. And there's this war, 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 and violence, 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 and serial killers, killers, and TV series with murder and mayhem and destruction. And, whoa, it's all there. And then... Kind of like, uh, I don't know, several years ago, it all got a shitload darker, you know, with American Horror Story, and it was all very satanic, overtly satanic, because our satanic is being revealed, the external satanic is being revealed, the hand that has choked the life out of us our entire life has, is being revealed as the monstrosity that it is. And it's about healing that now. And we don't quite know how to do that, really. They keep, I keep having that thought, I don't know how to fix this. I don't know how to fix this. I don't know how to fix this. I'm super aware of it. It's there. It's, it's like, I see what it's telling me. I see how it's sabotaging me. I see what it's doing. It's like, oh. And also there saying, no, it's not true, I am with you, I love you, I am with you all the way, always, I love you, I will help you make this choice, it is a good choice, you don't have to react to that, you can let go of that hatred, it's all right, you can let go of the fear, by the by, I am with you, I love you, that is what is happening here, like, it used to be like that, all dark shit, Ooh, completely unaware of it, in the subconscious, fucking awful, but I didn't even know, then, awakening and then going within then deeper 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 darker 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 but more awake more aware understanding what's really going on who am i what am i what is this why am i here and then the light 
coming in more and more, the self-love, that ability, that understanding of self-love, that, that was that was almost gone because we, we literally, the, the trauma-based mind control separates you from yourself, you divorce yourself, you abandon yourself in a cold, dark torture chamber. That's what happens. This is a time where we are severe, being severely tested. Our 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 stamina, our integrity, ooh, our courage, our truth, our trust, our faith, our ability, our everything, everything that we are in the light is being tested now. Not by God or anything. It's a simple, it's just how that is. It's the great revealing people and it is a testing time. It's not testing as in let's see what you can do because no, no, it isn't like that exactly but it is, it's a fucking ordeal. It's a fucking ordeal. But we are soul travellers. We are... Even amongst the difference, we are different, I think. I, I, you know, I, I don't feel good these days at all. Here, there's this, all these horrendous, really overwhelming emotions going on and it's, it's really scary, you know? There's shit happening in my life that is scary, mm. yes. It's about choices. It's about doing things that you're afraid to do that you know could be good for you, but you're scared. Because it's there saying it's not gonna work out, it's not gonna work out, you're not gonna be all right, you're not gonna be all right, don't bother doing it. Stay with the old, stay with the old, you see. And the light's saying, no, no, don't listen to that. Feel the fear and do it anyway, that sort of thing. So, um. I reckon a lot of you are feeling this way and that's why I'm doing this video really and I'm, I'm going to have a break now again, let you all catch up. Please know that when your resolve and your faith and your, your, you know, your I am is being severely attacked or, um, you know, people and, and, and situations and whatnot, come at you, making you feel like you're getting it all wrong and you're on the wrong path and you don't know what you're doing and you should be like this and you should be like that and that if that is happening to you then don't believe that. It, it really, awakening was never ever going to be a bed of roses people. It wasn't. Awakening to this and awakening to what lives within us, come on. You know, trust yourselves, you know, trust yourselves as much as you can and, and read these people, read these situations. If it feels wrong, it is. If they feel somewhat, par you know, um, patronizing and condescending and they sound glib, you know, a little glib and a little superficial or they use that nice pseudo spiritual nonsense language that a lot of these people like to employ. Um, no, 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 no. If you want to know what a genuine soul traveller is like, then, you know, I'm one. Or you go and see the Green Wizard on his channel, because he's about as genuine as, as it gets. You know? We're fucking real, and we're doing this, we're walking this path. We are walking through the valley of the shadow of death. The dark night of the soul. This is it, people. We have arrived at something. I'm not sure exactly what yet, but we have. I can feel it. I have never felt this before. This is so acute, so sharp. It's, it's, it's like it wants its food source. So it wants to have all this horrible, negative, evil, emotional shit going on. 
We cannot go there, we cannot give in to that. We will feel it, but we can let it go. We can love ourselves, talk ourselves through it, be with ourselves, hold ourselves, cradle ourselves. Set that intention. It can get really overwhelming. I know this from experience. Yes, it is. Sometimes you lose your footing. Yes, you do. But as long as we don't give up, as long as we keep tuning into love and allow that to hold us, allow that to be our compass, to be our guidance, rather than that dark thing that has been our guidance our entire life, you know. Be afraid, just be afraid all the time and then you'll be safe. Yeah, right. Wow. <laughs> no wonder we're all fucking sick. No wonder we can't sleep, no wonder we're depressed. No wonder people don't want to wake up. The fear, you see? I mean, you know, NPCs and whatnot, yeah. Whatever. Um, there was, there is a YouTube channel. Oh, I'm just, I'm just gonna have to log in a minute, guys, so bear with me, okay? Ah, yes, here it is. The Rebel Foundry. I'm going to post a link to the channel in the Dropbox down below. I hope you pop over there. I'm sure that a lot of you will really resonate. This is a really good channel. This is, I really resonate with it. It's brilliant. Um, this is a soul traveller and he's a very deep person and he has wonderful energy. It's called the Rebel Foundry. Um, yeah, just the link will be down there and, and go and give him some love and, you know, do some communing there because uh, communing now is important, people, you know, we, we need each other. Even though we are scattered all over the world, we need to do that and give each other some support and love as well as ourselves. All right, all my love to all of you. Bless you all. Thank you. <laughs> 